Okay, everybody, welcome to John Paul Kersey. This is all about the Ninja 5 or the Ninja V. And this is all about the external recorder that basically changed my video game and recording with a mirrorless camera. I use the Canon EOS R and when I use the, the Ninja V, I record on 10 bit externally and I record it to an SSD and I use uh, a big battery, relatively big, and I'm able to capture some dope images. And I, my main thing, the reason why I like this video external recorder is due to the fact that I can record in DNX XQX or whatever. And it's, it's amazing and it, it changes the format so I can, it's easier on my computer and it makes it easier for me to edit for like color grading or anything. And then I can also use baked in LUTs with the Atomos Ninja V as well. So the cool thing is about the Atomos Ninja V is that it can go up to 4K 60 frames per second. It's only 360 grams. Um, it's only five inches, 5.2 inches big. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's quite amazing. Like I, to be honest, the thing that's changed it the most is the looks like people ask me all the time is how does this look so good? How does the image quality look so good coming right out of my camera? And they always say, Oh, you got a really good camera or some the odd person that knows their stuff says, Oh, you got good lenses. But truth be told, I can use a cheap lens on this camera, which is kind of like a mid tier camera, the EOS R. It's not even like high end right now, it's mid tier. And I still get phenomenal 4K results and I dig it. Like I, I love it. And, and it's all because I could shoot at 10 bit. The Canon EOS R shoots at um, 8 bit internally, but externally, this thing, the Atomos Ninja V, does 10 bit and the 10 bit is phenomenal through the EOS R. It basically supercharges the camera. Also, um, it also records to the SATA, um, the SSD by 500 megabytes per second. So you can get some pretty fast, like Angelbird SSDs, the minis, and they're phenomenal. How amazing, you know, the, the write speeds can go up to, and it's a lot faster than your SD card. And is this, is this, you know, Atomos Ninja V relevant in 2021? I would say for me, 100% it was. And when you compare it to the R5 that can shoot 8K, down sample it's 4K from 8K, and it has, it's, it's, an, it's a beautiful camera, but you also have the R6, which is somewhat similar in frame rates and stuff as the EOS R, just a little bit better. I think they have 120 frame rates um, in 1080, and then 60 frame rates and, and 4K. So that's a good camera too. But for a video camera, I find the Canon EOS R still valuable. And it's perfect for me in 2021 because A, not only is the Canon EOS R pretty cheap, but another thing is like cheap, like it's more affordable than it has been prior to this. And not only that, you can pick up an, uh, an external recorder like the Atomos Ninja V and you get phenomenal results with, you know, basically budgetary income and you can still get good results without spending tons of money. I've seen people on YouTube, I've seen people in the real world with real world experience pair the EOS R with a C200 and the C200 is a pretty expensive camera so you know they use it as their B camera and I use it as my A camera because I get phenomenal results. I like the the 10 bit that comes out of this paired with my Canon EOS R. I think it's amazing. And um, yeah, like the Atomos Ninja V is hands down one of my favorite things that kind of to buy it, I was really hesitant because not only do you have to buy the recorder itself, which is kind of pricey, but then you got to buy the SSDs, then you got to buy the caddies, then you got to buy the caddies for the SSDs, then you got to buy the batteries. But if you kind of source out your information and do some research, you can find what SSDs will work best because on the Atomos Ninja V website, it tells you what SSDs are compatible with the Atomos Ninja V. The um, caddies are a must, like you need to get some more caddies. If you are getting this type of quant content, you don't wanna just have one SSD, you always wanna have backup. I got like three SSDs right now, so it's good to have some backup. But another thing that's really cool is the batteries. You can get different size batteries. I got batteries that are like this thick. I demonstrated it in some of my B-roll, but uh, those batteries are handy. Like they last for about, I would say like literally like an hour and a half, two hours long. 
and that that external recorder is awesome but not only is external recorder good to get 10 bit and uh baked in beautiful dnx xq um qx uh image to get a beautiful image right out of camera and then you can also put in your LUTs and stuff to see what it looks like and run your LUTs like through a live stream. But also it's good for someone that's trying to pull focus with your camera. If you're getting in like heavy, heavy, hardcore video um, gigs, like you were doing, let's say like a rap, a rap video or a rock video for some, for some uh, musician or a band or something, you can get someone pulling focus, holding your, your, um, your Atomos Ninja and they, they can basically be pulling focus while you're sitting there um, recording and controlling the Canon EOS R or the Sony's or the Nikon's. It just kind of like supercharges that camera. And I, I, hands down, I'm so happy with it. I think in 2021, it is still relevant. It is still worth every penny. And I would cop another EOS R and another Atomos Ninja V for a backup and have two cameras that look exactly the same. And is that on my to-do list? Most likely it is. But anyway, so basically I was just kind of going over some facts about how this is kind of good and why it's still good. You know, it's you can get other external recorders, but I feel that with all the firmware updates and everything constantly coming out, it makes it a viable piece of equipment to keep getting and to have either one or some, I've seen some people that have like two or three of these guys when they have multiple cameras and it's like the image quality out of it is phenomenal. Not only if let's say you have a Sony and you only have a back LED screen, you can flip it around and have a front facing LED screen and it's, you know, it's 5.2 inches big. So it's relatively big enough to see the quality from your video and to see what's in focus as focus peaking and all that stuff. And I'm pretty sure there's numerous of videos that you can watch on YouTube that kind of demonstrate the capabilities of the Atomos Ninja V. But mainly, I feel this 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 external, external recorder is still very relevant, and it's awesome. Like it's for the price that you get. Yes, it's kind of expensive for someone that's just starting out. But someone that's kind of invested already, it makes sense because there's, you know, there's HD recorders that are really expensive. There's all sorts of different types of recorders that, that recorders, external recorders, that get pretty expensive. And this one is really a valuable option for the bang for the buck and everything. But just keep in mind that you have to buy um, accessories that's going to add up over time. But if you're using it and shooting video all the time, then it makes sense. Like me, I got an HDMI, HDMI cord that I got off Amazon for like 20 bucks. And I got an, another one that fits into the HDMI cord, like a kind of like a, a linkage cord. And basically, um, you know, it, it, you can source out your information and get good and get good deals on everything that requires for the, for the Atomos Ninja V and you can get good deals on basically everything and it makes it worth its while. And I feel that it's a valuable option in 2021. Um, if they came out with a new one, would I get the new one? Probably not because I think the next iteration will probably go up to 4K 120 is what I'm assuming because of the A7S III that just came out. And I'm pretty sure the new one might have... Um, uh, like a 4K like screen, external recorder screen. This one's only 1080, but it can record up to 4K 60 frame rates per second. So it's totally, it's totally an awesome option. And if it comes out, if, it, if they, they come out with a newer version, I'm gonna keep using this because the price will go down and I already got a bunch of caddies, I already got a ton of batteries. So I'm basically gonna come out, I'm gonna just get another one of these and get another Canon USR for my B cam and it's gonna be awesome. So is this worth it? 100%. The reasons why is because of the price range. You just can't beat it for the quality. And I also, with mine, I have a, um, a small rig cage around it. So it makes it a little bit more durable. But the main thing for me for the cage was it added more attachment options so I can hold it out like this. And like, say if I need someone pulling focus, I can get them pulling focus with holding the external recorder and they can kind of do their thing. Cause I got a really long HDMI cord and I got a short one. I got tons of HDMI cords for this thing. But you gotta really do your research on the HDMI cords and make sure it can process the information and the bit rate that this one, um, the external recorder has so you can keep up with the the frame rates and stuff that this that the USR or any camera at that is spewing out of it into the internal record external recorder. So I like it. Um, I would do some research, extensive research. Um, hands down, one of my favorite products that I did purchase that really went from, took it from here and boosted it up here. If you know, I'm gonna catch my drift. Like it was like a night and day 
um, sequence to quality and image. Um, I've read some articles where people are saying, oh, there wasn't really that big of a difference. Maybe if you're shooting in just 4K, um, you know, uh, like just 4K, like Rec 709 or something, then it would be the same. But if you're doing 10 bit and you're doing, you know, baked in LUTs and you're doing all that stuff, it speeds up the workflow and it makes thing you make it makes editing a dream basically with a decent moderate computer and it makes it so you can function very nicely with this external recorder and it makes it so you can really flow with your ideas you're not sitting there frustrated over the editing bay you can make it function really well and it works thoroughly with with my computer anyways and just check your specs and make sure they align up but to me it's everything that i could dream for so hands down i love this bad boy tenfold i think this thing is was the best purchase that I purchased up my video game other than lighting. Lighting is to me is everything. Lighting without light, without good lighting, you're not going to have a good video, but second best is this thing, man. Atomos Ninja V. Mwah. Thank God for it. And I'm going to be copping another one of these and another USR soon. But to be honest, this is, this is a dream come true. Thanks Atomos for making my dreams come true. Ciao y'all. Peace.